Strife Crow is fun hanging out with you on Friday. Oh, hey. How's it going? So I'm going to play some Control Shaman today. It's like a new arena list. I want to see how it goes. Reno is going very well, I think, as far as that one card goes. I'm building a lot of decks around it. Uh, I don't notice a whole lot of a whole lot of problems putting in only one of every card. I guess Hearthstone cards are are close enough in strength, anyways, relatively. So interesting. It doesn't trade very well, but it does. I mean, I'm not gonna lava shock it, so I'm just gonna use this to get a potential three drop for next turn. Class cards are four times more likely to appear I discover. I didn't read about that recently. It definitely makes discover a lot better. Class cards are better than neutrals in general. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this. And try to steal something. It feels avenge. I might have big game hunted. If I get the Shredder potential. I kind of like Control Shaman because Shaman's a class here. Power is pretty good for control and also you have enough AoE I feel. It's pretty important for you to have enough AoE and removal. I played this deck earlier once, I think. I think I played the LPS earlier when I played it. It's it's the same deck, because I haven't played it too much since then. Okay, um gonna attack here. I have Urshock, so if Avenge buffs the creeper, I could Urshock the creeper and kill it. Although I wouldn't kill it, but or I can BJH that now. This is kind of ideal situation for me. I didn't want Urshock first because I didn't want the Con Creeper to get re redemption, so I had to attack first. I've got the beast in my side. And I'll probably end up Lala Shocking, even though I don't get a ton of value from it. Oh wait, there's no competitive spirit. It's still worth it. I was gonna say I should at least try to Lava Shock it because of competitive spirit. Try to give him, you know, not as much competitive spirit value, but I think it's still worth it overall. He would have got a good trade in on the Sludge Belt chose a 2 2. How many cards does he get? I guess round three. Um. This is probably okay. Let's see what happens. So it's not Avenge or Noble Sack or Redemption. So it's either this one's either Competitive Spirit or Repentance. Even if it's Competitive Spirit, hmm, it's kind of hard to make the Fire Elemental play here. Okay, let's try to give him one because I don't have AoE. I think if I had AoE, I could just kill all his minions. But because I don't have AoE, it's probably better for me to just give him this competitive spirit. Even though he does get a free trade here and kills this with his weapon. Um, I'm not confident in my ability to clear everything for next turn for competitive spirit with this hand. So I wanted to keep it down to one minion. Should be a fairly 
easy lightning storm, but I'm gonna play not greedy here. I don't want the boom bots killing my guy. It's really cool how uh, how Reno gives classes that historically don't have a lot of healing that really want healing. Things like Control Mage, Rogue, and Shaman. These classes don't have a lot of life potential because of the hero power and things like that. But now we have access to a lot of healing. Helps a lot. This is very likely Noble Sack Avenge. I'm almost sure it is based on what cards have been played. So I might not even want to attack. Especially if he gets the Divine Shield value from Mini. But I'm just going to play Reno here. And then pass. Unless this gets repentanced. And then I'll attack. Dr. Boom and Ysera are both okay. I guess I, don't, I still don't like Alakir that much here. I, dream and the world I don't like this being at 5 health, but if everything was below 4 health, it'd be really good. Alakir Nightmare, but he does have a Noble Sack, so that's 16 damage. I'm too off lethal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's full. I just realized. I was thinking. <laughs> I shall bring you rest. I was like. I was, like, I, I was like, I can attack the Lothab and then Elemental Destruction if I want to be safe on the Avenge and Noble Sack, because the Noble Sack won't proc. But then I just realized, why don't I just kill him? Uh, I've tried Ball of Spiders before. It didn't really work out. It's, it's just, it doesn't work out in Hunter, because Hunter's not a good control class. Hero power kind of makes it just aggro, but I don't know. Maybe with Reno or something. I haven't tried that yet though. I will fight with honor for Doomhammer. I could see you running two mad scientists and two duplicates or something in a Reno Mage. Just cause as long as you get one mad scientist, you'll you'll not have to worry about the two duplicates either. I don't really see a need to even run two giants. Like if I had to run two of one card in handlock, it probably wouldn't be giants because you're you have so many things that do similar things to giants, like Twilight Drake, Giant Void Caller. That's three already. Most of the time, I like Blood Mage against. Paladin more because it's better at fighting, but I think with the zombie chow already attacking and the fact that this is a 1-2, I don't play blood mage or hero power here. Oh, best top deck. I'm gonna have to do this before attacking. Yeah. Wow. Ah, oh, that's Avenge. It's probably okay, still, it's still good for me. I was thinking it might be repent Redemption because he played a Neutron into the thing, so that would have been really good for me to get the 1-1 one -one Redemptioned. Wow, he didn't trade.
I'm gonna keep Elemental Destruction Lava Shock as a combo, I think. So what I was thinking of was either play Drake here or Hero Power and Blood Mage. Because Drake kind of dies anyways, but at least it tanks the damage or trades a little bit. It is kind of useful to do some damage if I'm going to Elemental Destruction. Big Game Hunter is very good. I feel like I might want to keep it. I don't have the Hex right now, so... Okay, Elemental Destruction, Lava Shock. Let me go ahead and proc the secret. This overloads me for five. Technically, I don't have the Lava Shock, but I do want to... I'm probably going to want a Lava Shock just to kill something this turn. Hopefully, Avenge doesn't hit something. Oh, he has no Avenge. Okay, I kind of need to get a little bit lucky here. So that's repentance. Put this apple on your head. They're gonna be rich. I feel like the secret's probably Avenge because he didn't get his second Avenge from his mysterious challenger, so he had it in his hand. I've got the beast in my Let's see if I can Urshock this guy. I probably have to Urshock that. Looks like this is going to be hard. I basically need the Lightning Storm or... Maybe if I get a really good 4 drop that I can combo with Sludge Belcher, I can fight on board pretty well. For duty. It's not really that half bad. Do I want to Ancestral Knowledge over here, Power here? Let's see. Yeah, dodges top decks. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Soft, it doesn't really stop my healing wave, so it's not a big deal. Because I can just give him a healing wave. Not a big deal for me. It's actually pretty good because Lure Walker Cho doesn't attack. Like it's on a 3 2 or something. This is very annoying though. It even dodges my Argus because as a 3 5, even if I buff Argus, it still dies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm, I can't Dr. Boom here. I have to play Healing Wave or something. Well, you can actually do this. This should not get me killed. And I get to Argus two minions because next turn I have three mana to spare with Healing Wave, Dr. Boom. So I'd rather make the totem this turn. I might not win this Joust either, not feeling too confident about it maybe, because he sells Tyrion and Dr. Boom in his deck. Alright, take the healing wave. I don't mind that much. He can heal his own guy, but if he does, he gives me another healing wave.
Do I know? Actually, I don't know. Oh, I do know. <laughs> That's cool. I know what a secret is. Eight cards, seven cards left. Hmm. He's thinking he was thinking of playing the healing wave before to give me the healing wave before divine favor get one more card, but I I have another healing wave, so I feel like this game is still gonna be hard because he probably just drew into like Tyrion and Doctor Broom. I basically need Lightning Storm. I don't mind lightning storming into Lore Walker. Gonna be Alec here, here, power turn, I think. I might actually consider playing Noble Sack to give him a Noble Sack at some point if I can kill his small guys like his silver hand recruit here then he has to like it's like a big taunt but right now with him having recruits left over it's not that good he still has small minions left over definitely not in good shape here I feel like I'm somewhat dead. I think I'm just dead. Yeah, there's no there's no way I survived this turn, I think. Not even sure what I needed. I will fight with honor. I feel like the hardest matchups are gonna be against like mid range aggressive mid-range decks like against Paladin and maybe Zoo. I've had I know I've had trouble in Zoo the last two games too. Because they're both similar in the sense that they're not burn oriented decks but they're aggro decks. So when you're running like one of everything, your deck is weaker. You have a lot of more healing but your deck might be weaker. And it's harder to win board control. Like these decks Paladin and Zoo are about board control so it kind of punishes Reno decks in a way. Probably gonna save my ooze. It's not that important against Palin, but I do want a three drop anyways. Huh. What is the best here? <laughs> All right. I I definitely don't like the the totem Manatai totem because if he plays a juggler here, or or a mini bot, he can kill it if he has a. Well, Juggler kills it no matter what, and the other one kills it too. I'm not gonna attack because Noble Sack. Kinda wanna just try for the Devil Sword. Yeah! The dream! The dream! My hand is pretty good too, these double AoE against Paladin. Okay, I'm gonna storm here, double knife juggler almost certainly. I feel like storm first. If I attack first, Nibble Sack procs in Avenge. 
it wouldn't be terrible to get Avenge, but looking at the grand scheme of things, I think it's better to Storm first. Let's see what I get. I don't really know if that matters, but... doesn't really make sense to love shock this. I have the combo anyways, so it definitely makes more sense to just waste my MC tech. It's not really a waste, it's still 3-3, three, three, so... Merlock is so annoying, I actually probably have to elemental destruction this turn, unfortunately. Or I could wait one more turn. Actually, I can wait one more turn. He has to have an answer for the Azure Drake, kind of, right now anyways. Like, if I Elemental Destruction just during place Dr. Boom, I would be fairly unhappy about it on turn 7. Whereas, I can actually kill Dr. Boom along with Murloc Knight with Elemental Destruction and the, and the Law of Shock. It just seems so inefficient to Elemental Destruction and then Law of Shock face. And then if he plays Dr. Boom, to have to play from behind. Like, Rag isn't a great answer to Dr. Boom because of the Boom bots. Alakir's not a great answer either. So I might not even have to Elemental Destruction. Okay, now I have to. It's fine though. I want to save Hex for Tyrion anyways. This guarantees that that dies if it rolls 4. And then... Probably just gonna Hero Power here. Instead of Blood Mage. In case he plays like Muster for Battle or something and trades better. I don't have mana next turn to Lava Shock. I could save Lava Shock for next turn, but you know, I get to kill something good anyways, and I have I wanna play eight and nine drops probably next turn. I'll have seven mana. I can't play any of my big stuff, but I can play Hex next turn. It's still a seven seven. I think I'd play around Redemp Repentance. A little bit. It's not bad, anyways. I'm just not too super sure what these secrets are. I can always fill in that seven man next turn with Murlocs. It's like I can play Hex and some Murlocs. Put your faith in the light. I'm pretty sure it's Noble Sack. It has to be. Because my re the Repentance didn't even block too. So I want to kill this before Hexing. I'm still Hexing this instead of Mr. Challenger. I wanted to kill this, the Noble Sack, before Earth Shocking too. Oh, but there was actually an. Uh, actually, no, that doesn't make sense. I was thinking Hex and kill a frog, but there's no way to kill a frog, anyways. Not, with, not if it's Noble Sack. I think it is important for me not to play a 2 health Murloc because of the defender. So it's either this or a war leader that's technically like wasted in a way. I feel like war leader might be a little bit better to save, but you know it makes sense the other way around because this is a battle cry, whereas this is an aura. But who knows? Oh, he's not even taking the trade into the Neptulon. In case that was Avenge, I can try to big game Hunter. The Avenge target. <laughs> wow, that's so much value from Neptulon. I just realized with Murloc Knight, that's crazy.
It's time to win with Murlocs. Uh, ten, nineteen. Yeah, there we go. 